Hello and welcome to another modeling video. This is Alan from Kunaman at YouTube with the Smash Bandai World Cup Australia diary. The model has just been uh, finished literally now. Uh, the glue for the flock is drying and the pigments are setting so it might look slightly different after that's fully hardened over the next few hours while it's going to be in transit. Uh, there will be three models transported and I'm going to be traveling with uh, four modelers. Uh, one of them will be Wolfman X of uh, the Australian scene and uh, Ghost of Zeon will be met in Sydney. The two models I'll be bringing. This purely for display, the Zoc, a part of the Gundam Forum uh, group build and my single entry in the open category and here's a look at it. A snow diorama of a Gundam fighting the Dom. Of course the Dom has the pole arm but I'm not going to put it in his arm yet. And we'll show the Gundam as well. As a little extra, I even did this uh, little uh, name tag for myself. So, with about an hour and 15 minutes until I have to leave for the airport, I've got to pack all this up, pack my bag, get documentation, and have a shower. I'll do a little filming of the packing process. The Glorious X Esky, and I will be filling it soon. The two master grades have been disassembled. Each individual piece has been wrapped in bubble wrap. Uh, extra padding has been applied with uh, fluff and it's in this little crate that will be stacked inside of there. Underneath the Zox armpit and between the legs will be bubble wrap wrapped in a bigger piece and then chucked in. These three loose pieces are going to be wrapped up in toilet paper and put inside this bubble wrap pouch. This is simple, just wrapped in bubble wrap and placed on top of everything else. The uh, esky will be filled up with more bubble wrap until there's no more space for stuff to move. Everything is stacked on top of each other. Everything in the box is at the very bottom. Rantaya's box is over there. Uh, the loose models are more to the top. Diorama at the very top. Everything is sandwiched with all sorts of packaging, bubble wrap. So when this thing does tumble and rock and move around, There'll be maximum movage. Wolfman and I had a very early start and flew immediately to Sydney, uh, Qantas. Excellent uh, trip. Got to the hostel far too early and uh, crashed on the couch uh, due to the rooms not being ready. The model survived very, very well in the uh, Esky, breaking it down to multiple parts, wrapping and putting it in multiple containers uh, definitely does the trick. Uh, eventually we got into our room, head down to the exhibition centre, met Ghost of Zeon, met a few other guys and uh, partied throughout the night. Again, had an early start, of course, after a good night's sleep and hearty breakfast. Uh, we head throughout uh, George Street, straight down into the uh, Darling Harbour. The uh, convention opened without flaws and very, very smoothly. Quite interesting, people dressing up stalls and whatnot. The uh, layout is uh, slightly different but didn't really spend much time around the rest of the convention. There was uh, quite a few people uh, it was very very popular around the uh, Gundam display area. Lots of people to talk to and uh, trade ideas, talk about each other's entries and uh, a lot more fun was had around there was invited into the uh, VIP workshop for two hours to help a few people build and that was a lot of fun as well uh, with uh, our own workshop in Melbourne experience. The end of the day came to a draw and uh, very very happy uh, everyone went their uh, separate ways later on online the uh, 
feedback was uh, fantastic from the event. Uh, me and the boys had one more day in uh, Sydney on the Sunday. Did a bit of uh, touristy bits and pieces, shopped at a couple of hobby shops and bought a lot of interesting bits and pieces. Arriving back home that night in Melbourne, absolutely tuck it out. Now for the very popular and all fun haul video. We'll start off with the absolute coolest item. I uh, got a gift certificate cash prize from Hobbyco. Uh, some of $80. I did spend it, though uh, that was uh, very thoughtful and uh, fantastic for something of uh, such a lowly uh, prize. So I'm very, very grateful for it. And this amazing, amazing exclusive kit black smoke ver version with 2013 written on it issued to the winners shiny black box made in Japan some interesting info here not for sale So on the inside you've got this near clear with the slightest uh, smoke uh, tinge to it. And just the standard instructions. And parts order form. 1144 scale Gino Ace. The giveaway at the uh, beginner's workshop build. Uh, these are the ones I'll probably be giving away at the manifest. So I'll airbrush them up and put them on display. And this nice uh, lighter, as I do smoke from time to time. Surprisingly, in uh, that really amazing bookshop, uh, Kirino, you can't remember what it's called. The latest uh, Takahashi um, Figure Man illustration book, which uh, surprisingly has uh, the Hasegawa egg plane uh, drawings in there as well, which um, I'm surprised he's done the character design for that as well as a bunch of other companies and model kits, so this will inspire more Mecha Misume builds. Bodacious Space Pirates, I think I might have reviewed that on the other channel. Uh, the Benton Maru, I was after this and uh, came across it. Uh, half of it was paid for with the voucher. And this is the rest of the goodies that the $80 uh, paid for, at least at 60 of that $80. And these will be the feature models for the uh, diorama next year. Though I want to see if I can get a third or a fourth uh, no-grade GM. Um, I'll have a little hunt around, see what I can find. This concludes the diaries, thank you very much, and of course until next time, the planning for the 2014 Gunpla Builders World Cup uh, preparation is going to happen far, far earlier than uh, this year. I was interrupted due to my overseas uh, trip and uh, couldn't put sufficient decent modelling practice in for that uh, two months. Though this year I'll be uh, far more prepared and will have a more detailed and better fleshed out uh, diorama and project. It has been planned. I exactly know what I uh, want to do. It's going back to 1 to 144, the scale I'm very uh, comfortable with. Uh, the diorama is going to probably push me out of my comfort level, but the kits itself will be less uh, complicated so they can contain less mistakes and be more um, competition perfect. Though all in all, it's still the main aspect is uh, fun and definitely dwelling in the hobby within my style of uh, kit building, which is the number one most uh, important thing for next year's project. Uh, for everybody else who's yet to have their um, international Gunpla Builders World Cup uh, heat, particularly those of in the Americas, uh, good luck. I wish you all very uh, well. Uh, 
I'm very excited to see what the world uh, title holds and who's going to be the um, world's champion. And again, good luck to uh, Ghost of Zion and uh, Pudding Cup with uh, their debut on the world stage. Catch you guys later.